Jesse Smollett is best known for his breakout role in the hit show Empire. And tonight, a potential break in the case of an alleged hate crime against him. Police releasing these images of two potential persons of interest, asking the public for help in identifying them. They were spotted on surveillance camera on the same street where Smollett says he was attacked because of his race and sexuality. Don't have a last name on the cell phone regarding a friend who was assaulted and battered when he walked out of his apartment. It was the early hours of Tuesday, downtown Chicago. Smollett had just gotten off a plane from New York when, as he told police, he grabbed a bite to eat at his local subway. He told authorities he was walking back home alone when two assailants approached him, wearing ski masks and yelling homophobic and racist slurs at the actor who was gay. He also told police that they began to attack him and poured an unknown substance over him before tying a rope around his neck. But police tell ABC News tonight that Smollett was seen on camera walking into an apartment building with a rope hanging around his neck, quote, wearing it like a necktie before eventually calling police from inside that building. He's supposed to be well-known requesting a report and said the noose was placed over the friend's neck. EMS has refused. The 36-year-old entertainer walked himself to the nearby Northwestern Hospital. When police arrived, Smollett was still wearing the rope around his neck. They now say they are analyzing that rope. Empire co-creator Lee Daniels posting this since-deleted photo showing Jesse, he says, after the attack. Chicago PD says that in a follow-up interview after Smollett first reported the incident, he later told police that his alleged attackers yelled, MAGA country. Smollett's music manager, Brandon Z. Moore, said he was on the phone with him during the attack. I heard that clearly, he told ABC News. I heard the scuffle, and I heard the racial slur. Smollett has been the target of threats before. On January 22nd, police confirmed that a letter was sent to the Fox studio in Chicago with threatening language and laced with a powdery substance, likely Tylenol. If it's maybe a hate crime, you're then going to look at the social media and do a, uh, of, the, of the victim and a more detailed background of the victim and people associated with the victim. Now Chicago police say they are taking this investigation very seriously. And the victim in this case is cooperating fully with detectives. Smollett has been treated and released from the hospital. Police assisted by the FBI say that this Streeterville neighborhood is well monitored with lots of private and city surveillance cameras. However, after reviewing hundreds of hours of tape, Police say they have not yet found any video of the attack itself. Police do say they have video that places Smollett alone at the scene of the crime. The labor it takes to go through all those tapes can really take you a lot of hours. There's a variance in cameras. Some stationary, some are moving, some are private. Daniel showing his support in this Instagram video. You didn't deserve, nor anybody deserves, to have a noose put around your neck. Terrence Howard, who plays Smollett's dad on screen, says the cast was told about the incident on set. And we've been a family for the last five years, so this is like hearing, you know, as far as I know, 17 hours a day, Jesse Smollett is my son. So you're feeling this helplessness, this hopelessness, that your children, the people that you love, aren't safe. Taraji P. Henson, who plays his mother, posting this message today. Writing, I wish what happened to my baby was just one big bad joke, but it wasn't. We all feel his pain right now. Fox, the studio behind the hit show, writing in a statement, the entire studio, network, and production stands united in the face of any despicable act of violence and hate, and especially against one of our own. And it's not just his colleagues. Reaction to Smollett's story also quickly hitting a nerve on social media. Stars like Viola Davis, John Legend, and Kerry Washington tweeting their support. For many, it's the details that have come out. A rope around a black man that evoked painful memories from a different time in a different place. Black bodies swinging. It's been nearly 80 years since Billie Holiday famously sang the protest song, Strange Fruit. Strange Fruit hanging. A metaphor about how commonplace it was to lynch blacks in the South. This is an historic piece of legislation. It was only in December of 2018, almost 140 years after the practice first began in mass, that Congress finally passed a bill designating lynching as a hate crime. When they add the noose, you know, it's not just a homophobic crime. Now it's a racially stirred up crime. You are who you are. 
Smollett came out as gay back in 2015 on Ellen. It's really important to me to make sure that it got across that there is no closet, there's never been a closet that I've been in. Since then, he has been an advocate for human rights, donating proceeds of his album, Some of My Music, to the Black AIDS Institute. It's the kind of song that makes a man love a man. His life, perhaps the inspiration he draws from for the character he plays on Empire, the middle son, Jamal Lyon. He just came out. A son who has to come out to his homophobic father, Lucius. We discuss things that oftentimes haven't been discussed, especially within the black and um, minority or Hispanic communities, approaching homosexuality and how it is expressed. Daniel says that Smollett's alleged attack is illustrative of the hate that pervades this country. America is better than that. It starts at home. It starts at home, yo. We have to love each other, regardless of what sexual orientation we are. Because it shows that we are united on a united front. Hold your head up, Jesse. I'm with you. I'll be there in a minute. It's just another day in America. Whether or not this is truly a new paragraph in our nation's most troubled chapter is yet to be determined. For now, the country is left to wait as authorities continue to look for exactly what happened on a cold night in Chicago. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.